some because, of course, it's legitimate. But not everyone in Brazil is convinced of that. In fact, millions of people think the election was rigged and they now have a criminal as president. So there are protests underway across the country. There are reports tonight from investigative journalist Matt Terman that the Brazilian military stands with the incumbent president, Jair Bolsonaro. Matt Terman joins us tonight. Matt, thanks so much for coming on. I know it's a complicated situation, but I, you follow this as closely as any English speaker. How would you summarize it? Well, you're right. It is a complicated situation. We are in day 29 of mass protests in Brazil, a democratic country with free elections. And we're talking not tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, but millions. And what looks to be, when all said and done, will be tens of millions. This is the largest democratic protest in possibly human history. And the global media is crickets on this. It is totally being memory hold in real time. Uh, but the people are very clear. They do not want to be uh, led by a convicted criminal. And recall, Lula da Silva was convicted in three separate courts of 12 charges by 19 judges unanimously, not Bolsonaro appointees. This was years before Bolsonaro. And his judicial appointees in the Supreme Court had freed him in the last two years just so he could run in this race. And they annulled and vacated his multiple sentences, 12-year sentence, 580 days he served. They let him out to run. And Brazil has a law in the books that says no convicted felon can be an elected office. And they vacated that. They absolutely put him on the chessboard so that they could attempt to control the outcome. And now the people in mass are crying foul, even in the districts where he supposedly has a stronghold, uh, say the Amazon with indigenous peoples. They're marching on Brasilia. Every city in the country is filled with protesters. And now the question is, what is to be done when you have a judiciary that is not comprised of judges in the classical sense, impartial, nonpartisan judges, but political appointees and partisans who are working to skew an electoral outcome. Uh, and so the military has a special role in the Brazilian Constitution, Article 142, that says they are the ones to adjudicate separation of power disputes. And it looks like this will be coming to a head. Amazing. And of, of course, De Silva would, would be a willing servant of China.